So what's it been like? It's great. No, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I really like it. Um, um, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's my, it's my, my bad. <laughs> Gallagher and I'm playing mum. Uh, my name's Claudia Archer and I play girl. My name's Tommy Knight and I play boy or Brian. I'm Joey Ellis and I'm playing Snooks. I'm Lucy Walker Evans and I'm playing the most beautiful woman in Romford. <laughs> and I'm Joe Mason and I'm playing mouse. Uh, my name is Matt Betridge and I play the Toby and also the transvestite. I'm Rachel Fenwick and I play Margaret Thatcher and the market brass and the knicker lady. Uh, I'm Andy Umera and I play Trader. Uh, so I'm Forrest Morgan and I play the Leather Man. I'm Michael Iotis and I'm the Leather Boy and the New Boy. I'm Ollie Westake and I'm Jason and the Labour MP. Oh, I'm yeah. Lily and I play Sticky Nicky and a Fly Pitcher. I'm Georgina and I play a Spanish girl, a Fly Pitcher, someone who sells orchids um, and a Gladiator. Hi, I'm Drew, I play Steve the Nutter, and Dad. I'm Grant, I'm playing a meat man. I'm Esmond, I'm playing a fly pitcher, Captain Blood, and a few other characters. <laughs> Hi, I'm Holly Taylor George, and I'm playing the fish woman. The market boy is... 80s comedy, based in Romford Market. In the 1980s to early 1990s. It's kind of like a slice of life. All the stories that happen on the market. It's like a little vignette of 1980s life, like a little vignette. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it follows this young boy sort of being raised in the marketplace. Who um, grows up on this market and becomes a man. And we follow his life and how he deals with um, the ups and downs of learning how to survive in like Quite a but absolutely cut hits. Cutthroat industry. You know, the success of like, you know, uh, being on a stall and. And then you got a classic love story as well, or well, not classic, um, you know, losing a girlfriend and well, getting a love, girlfriend. Love, it's a romance. So, a I, story of love. Yeah, mm -hmm. a story of love. Mm -hmm. Emb embracing it in, in, a, in a world of absurdity. A lot of high emotions and roller coasters. And um, all these things that like, affect the community as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, a, a boy, a boy go from coming of age story, I would say. He comes in innocent, um, not knowing much about life, quite naive. And he's sort of bashed around by society. And he goes through all these different feelings and emotions and meets so many different people and becomes a man, I guess. <laughs> I think there's, there's a real mix of, um, like, extreme characters. Mental. Yeah, extreme. <laughs> and then quite some quite realistic characters. Slight archetypes, I'd say. They're extreme, but you can imagine them on yeah. market. Yeah. 100%. David Eldridge has written these characters who are massively flawed, and he plays to those flaws yeah, immensely, yeah. and it just makes it them... As well. and, I, and I think that's, that's partly real to life. Eldridge is from Essex, so it's so nice to have a, a writer mm. that is actually working class and from that place, showing you what it was like growing up. It isn't, you know some posh show going look at these stupid working class people it's actually like quite a little affectionate look it is affectionate that's a good word to describe it it is i mean david eldridge worked yeah on a market so all these people were based on on people that he met and i think when you go on a, to a market you always laugh you always see like big big characters and that's definitely what we've got in this the play is a fast paced non-stop, action-packed show, really. It's quite a surreal play, so it sort of time shifts within scenes as well. It's, it's completely different to anything like naturalistic. Because I think it was something national to begin with. Mm. We, we wanted something completely different to, to what you'd usually get. So, and definitely achieved that. Yeah. David Eldridge before had said that he almost wrote it as like an anti-play. Uh, it's sort of a kind, it's a bit of a rebellion, isn't it? Yeah. So it's big and it's boisterous and it's in your face and you kind of just get swept along with all the weird and wonderful characters that are in Romford Market. His writing is amazing because it's really real. Mm. So he gets characters that are quite big and you wouldn't expect them to, for people to relate to them, but you do because I feel like he's lived it and he's experienced it. He's from that area, so he just gets it. He knows how people speak. It's almost like a sort of period play of its own 
genre really. Up from 1984 up until about 1990. Mm-hmm. Yeah, during the Thatcher era. And it sort of matches up with the politics of the time a little bit as well. Yeah, it does absolutely hit everything 80s though. Yeah. Music, style, all the references are all of the time. So yeah. I think for anyone, for anyone that wants a bit of nostalgia hit, yeah. just come down. Yeah. I had someone come watch it last night and he's like, oh, I forgot what it was like in the 80s. So that's really good. Bang pack with music. You know, it's, a lot it's, of music. Yeah. So yeah, good tunes. And it's a comedy, if we didn't mention that. <laughs> it's extremely fun and not naturalistic in any way, mm. but very relevant and quite political. You got a bit of politics thrown in there. This is very different to a lot of his other places done, like serving it up and stuff, which is a lot more real, a lot more, you know, this is very different. It is quite surreal. It's like a little slice of 1980s Romford. Yeah. And I'm from Romford. So. Have you guys been to Romford no. Market? Mm-hmm. The play's got heart, and that's it. There's still, there's still truth to it. That's really the best good. time. We really <laughs> have. <laughs> I feel like I'm back at drama school again. Just like, we've going got, crazy. we've got such a big cast for a tiny stage. Like, um, that we've got 22 of us in this, and like in this stall. And during rehearsals, we had four weeks of rehearsals. And at one point, I thought, wow, this is a huge, huge cast. I've never worked with such a big cast before. I think the biggest cast I've worked with is probably about five, six people. It's not the biggest of theatres, so to have sort of 20 plus in here is a challenge. It's busy. We say it's like the Big Brother house sometimes, don't we? It's like there's so many of us, it's just completely mad. It's a, it's a chore in itself, sometimes, not a chore, it's a, um, what's the word? <laughs> <laughs> it was quite a shock at first. I didn't know how to handle it. Mm. I didn't know how to handle myself in, in this environment. So that's been a big thing, just getting to know each other, knowing how each other work and that kind of thing. But you can kind of draw off of each other. So yeah. if you're having a particularly terrible day, there's 20 other people kind of going mad. Everyone's sort of adapted to each, uh, each other's way of life as well. It's a sweaty dressing room, I'll tell you that. <laughs> And backstage as well, the yeah. back corner, sweat corner. Yeah, it, it's crazy. I, I've never worked with such a big group of people before, but it's wonderful because you've just got all of these uh, wonderful people bringing this story to life, and it's a real big ensemble piece. And the market's like a hive mind. It's supposed to be almost like yeah. one, one character. Um, so to kind of all be on board and, and do it, that, that is a craft in itself. So it's actually really nice to, to, to work with a big cast. It's written for an ensemble, so it, it's like a massive, the whole thing just like breathes together in one. It's like people are playing multiple characters. Um, but also there's a lot of characters in the cast and it's never dull, it's never dull. A couple of days into the process where really, like, you can just see how well cast. Yeah, you <laughs> like, like, yeah. So well cast and everyone is so different. I mean, I've only once really worked with like a massive cast, but not, not something like akin to this where there's so much energy involved. There's so much energy every day you come in and just like ready to work and it's really exciting and boisterous, just like Romford Market. Yeah. It's, it's such great fun and it's a real treat to work with everyone. Yeah, everyone's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every, yeah, we all really get on. It's great, yeah. Um, mm. We all get on, which is... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. It's quite a luxury to have. There's always time. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> which is good. And also, if you fall out with someone, there's yeah. another 20 people to... But that's the thing. Get on with. Yeah. We haven't fallen out there, there's not one rotten egg yeah. in the basket. So it's it's maybe, maybe the miserable person who's playing the miserable character. Oh yeah, it's just him, he's just, always you know, going on, always miserable going on, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, we're not in costume. <laughs> <actually. What was laughs> I've got friends that are like, wow, big cast, you know, there must be someone. I'm like, no, they're really yeah. not. And then they're all like, it's you then. So I'm yeah. like, ah. <laughs> Which it is. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki Allpress is the director. Amazing. We love her. Nicola Allpress. Is that how you pronounce Nicola. it? Nicola! Oh, Nikki. Yeah. Nikki Nicola! Nikki! Nikki is a powerhouse. Nikki. Nikki's been wonderful. She, like, like us as well, as individuals, she was overwhelmed with the amount of people in the room at certain given points, like we all were. I mean, I can't even imagine what her job was like to try and deal with everything that's yeah. going on and to be such a um, affectionate director. She's a yeah. real... You know, you can tell that she's been an actress herself because she really gives, she's really giving. She set a really lovely environment to begin with, which has helped us bond very quickly. I mean, to, to, to deal with 21 actors is a feat in itself, I think, mm. let alone 
you know, turning it into some, you know, to a play. She's she's fun, she's friendly, she's so approachable. She, and she tries to balance it really well. With, she's got 21 people with all with ideas um, and input and she sort of takes things from people and, you know, she's very good at sort of making everybody feel like they've had a, a creative input in some way. Constantly checking in with every single person, like personally. She knows how to tell you to do things yeah. but without being, you know, overtly strict or yeah. Like, yeah, too much. She's yeah. just so easy to get on with, so down to earth. So yeah, it's yeah. been a pleasure to work with her. She's so passionate about this particular work and it really shows in the way she's sort of gone about directing us in the way she thinks it should, like, should be done or should look. And, and she's very open to interpretations. She's just a really lovely collaborative director, really. I think Nikki definitely had an, an overview of what she wanted mm. and she kind of kept that to herself and let us instinctively play it mm -hmm. for the first couple of weeks and what we found was amazing um, and then she you know would start to bring in her kind of overall vision mm. and it kind of just came, came together, together. <laughs> really well. That's so true. Yeah. I think Nikki's got this ability to, to have a vision and see how she wants the whole scene to look with 23 people and then concentrate on specifics and she can like hone in to someone's like, you know, acting really the specificity of what that you know needs to happen but at the same time see the bigger picture. She's amazing. Nikki, I've, yeah. worked, I've worked with Nikki before so coming back and working with her again with obviously a different group of people is it's phenomenal. She's done so well with yeah. such a big cast of us and Obviously, we've got we put it together in four, four weeks. in four weeks. So four weeks, making sure that twenty two of us in total have had a good rehearsal like period for each part that we have to do. I think she's done fantastic. Yeah, here. she brings a sense of fun as well. It's a really fun play. Yeah, she's like, so fun. She she lets us be loose and like yeah sure, yeah twenty one twenty one of us and yeah I mean that's some babysitting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mummy Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> she lit the fire within us to kind of just tell the story. Um, and she's been working closely with David Eldridge as well. And just, it's, it's all there just to kind of serve the story. Um, we're so excited because of her passion to tell that story. There's, there's a lot of choreography yeah. because obviously there's, there's what, around over 20 of us? Adam Hayden. Um, yeah, was yeah. That, yeah, was a like, dance choreographer and uh, I think quite a few of the cast members haven't done any dance training before and stuff and so he was working <laughs> with various like various There were levels different levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well you have here the dance captain. <laughs> no, I didn't really do anything. I, um, no, we had um, Adam in to choreograph. When we say choreography it wasn't proper dance moves and flips and kicks and everything. For you, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as well, because everyone's on stage the whole time. That mm. has been a challenge of it. The music throughout the show is like, is quite in, like, intrinsic to all of our actions and movement. It's as close as you can get to a musical mm. without, songs. without us singing. A lot of it is like to a beat. And there's this music playing and everything, but you've got to hit those marks, hit those beats, which has been quite different for me, because I'm used to just being able to do what I want. So that's been quite tricky. Doing it in like different like ways and, and, and levels and all that stuff. And the choreography has been, uh, Adam, he's done a really great job on, on what he's like um, enabled us to do, um, with most of us not really being uh, movement people. Yeah. Especially you and it. Like, yeah, I think you found the movement quite different. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. You can move. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's almost like a dance, the entire show. Um, it, it's so technical. It isn't typical, like, it isn't. Dance per se mm. in in the performance, or whatever. There are essences of dance, mm. and it would be like in a musical in the bit that's the, the spoken word. So there's, that's all very stylized, and you know we all have to be doing those things. It's not yeah. choreography in a dance uh, sense. Yeah. Um, it was more sort of stylized acting moves. I think there was there was a, there's yeah. a meaning behind what we're doing rather than rather than just kicking and flicking. Adam has done a fantastic job of managing us all, getting us people who have got different levels of ability mm. to, um, and will as well, to, um, to a point where we're all working together. And that's the thing, the, the market needed to have synergy. Yeah. And the choreography from Adam has, Very fluid. Us, yeah. has made it fluid. I think it's really worked well because, of it, because it's an ensemble piece, it had to have a bit of that movement and sort of physical theatre esque involved in it. Also, I think it's good, like, there's some of this movement early on, like, pretty much immediately when the play starts. 
and I think it's necessary to again to set up the st- this is not a naturalistic play mm. so that people can get on board and be like embrace the style and be like oh this is what we're dealing with rather than being like why are people shouting bananas 400 times? That would never happen. So be Trust me, it's 400 we count. <laughs> <laughs> like every day he came in, yeah. we learned so much. And I think um, all the choreographed bits are so on point and yeah um, i can't see it but i think I it looks great it. it's lucky for me because i can't dance so i can count to eight so every time that adam was like it looks choreographed and they're like yeah guys come on chill it out <laughs> <laughs> let's do let's do less dancing uh yeah it's my first time working for the union now i found it really uh really great experience it's a lovely theater there's a lovely atmosphere as well they're always kind of actors around um uh, everyone's really friendly. It's got a real kind of communal sort of vibe. Um, so you kind of do feel a bit like a family when you're here. It's lovely. I did a play here two years ago uh, called Heartbreak House, which Nikki was assisting on. So that's where I first met Nikki. But that was a cast of eight, which are very, very different. So based on the First World War, it's a very, very different play. And the theatre here, the Union, Sasha's amazing. Everyone here is lovely. It's a little family, it's a little team. I'm sure that we'll see people again. I think it's such an intimate theatre. Yeah. It is nice to be back, yeah. It's nice to do something very <clears throat> energetic, high energy. You really feel a part of the market, I think, because it's so intimate. To do all of this in like such a kind of mm. small space and make it come alive like so much, uh, then just adds to the fact you know, you've got 22 people uh, in the market usually all at the same time just yeah just amazing stuff I love it absolutely love it, it was when we first came in we were all blown away I think yeah just because we'd seen the plans on paper but when you see it in real life it's so different so so many times you get fobbed off with oh we're going for a minimalistic approach <laughs> yeah, yeah. which is kind of a get out for not spending any money on <laughs> set but I think it's amazing I, I, you know the, the level of detail it's, it's beautiful, he's done such a good job and it is like, again, it's so specific, you've got everything in each place. And I, I think what Justin's done so wonderfully, he, like, although it's such like a colossal set in comparison to the stuff we were sort of rehearsing in previously, he still managed to keep a sort of element of subtlety about it so it's not too distracting. They've done a great job, it is, and all, I mean, they've managed to hand things from the 80s as well. Yeah. Even that old Tesco's bag, I don't know, who the hell had that? But, um, yeah, Justin. Justin did an amazing job. Yeah, Justin's yeah. done a fab job, yeah, and he's really, really yeah. personable as well. He's yeah. lovely. He's just like, what can I do? And then if there's anything that you want to do, it really helps you bring your own props into it. Because we have have no set, and everything's such such a character um, based piece that you need to have your your things to mm. make your character yours. So to get this um, quality of set is really 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 good. We didn't get it until <laughs> two days two before. Days before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we just all had in our heads like, it's gonna be like this, it's gonna be like this. Yeah. And then we turned up and we were like, oh my God, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's just out of this world. Yeah. And it, it just immerses you in it completely without having to do or think about anything. You know, you just feel like that's exactly where you are. Mm-hmm. When I saw it first, I was like, we have set, now it's official. Now it's like, yeah, let's mm. get this party going. Mm. How much can we give away? <laughs> High energy, mm. lots of 80s nostalgia, and a lot of laughs. It's like a hit of energy. The first five minutes are kind of a sensory overload. A lot goes on, a lot, <laughs> a lot goes on. It's a coming of age story. It's, you know, it's teenagers. It's that kind of feeling of only one thing matters in your life, and that's the person you fancy mm. without giving too much. Yeah. Yeah. Something different to the normal stuff that's put on in London theatres, to be honest. This is kind of raw, 80s, sexist, racist, kind of just homophobic. It's mentioned. all in there. None of these are our own. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sort of cultural appropriation. It's got no pretense, like it is what it is, and it's a play for the people. It's real, it's a slice exactly. of life. People did speak like that, people did say stuff like that. People need to come with an open mind to it. Very open mind. It's controversial. Not the most PC. It's not the most PC, it's as of the time. 18, yeah, yeah, as the late 80s weren't. Um, it's of the time. It, some of the stuff that's said isn't nice, but you know, it's so real. But if you see it as a sort of pastiche or homage to that era, and obviously to David Eldridge's own experience in the market, um, 
we can all relate to these characters and the situation that they're in. It's Definitely. very subversive, so you just go with it. Embrace it, enjoy yeah. it, laugh if you don't think you should, because it is funny. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that's yeah. true, actually. You can have a bit of fun. So we're celebrating the good things of the 80s, and that's just a matter of fact. That yeah, use, use that, actually. Don't use... Come to our show, it's homophobic, racist, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and misogynistic. So we don't want people to get offended, we want people to be like, wow, like, they really spoke like that. Yeah. <laughs> they, they didn't care. So, um, but yeah, they just, I think they just need to yeah. embrace it. Yeah. Come and see the show though, and there's lots as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> it's like a fun night. Like, it's song after song, music, mm. movement, fights swearing, sex, like Everything all anyone wants. the stuff. Immerse yourself in the whole experience yeah. and you'll have the best time. Boom, in your face. Straight in, yeah. music, bit of dancing. Yeah. Straight in the nostrils. Bit of fighting. Yeah. Straight in the nostrils. With a bit, yeah. of, with a bit, of, with a bit of man spray, the lovely man spray, so it hits all the senses. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're gonna get something real thrown in their face, literally. <laughs> Definitely come and see it. Bit of escapism for what two hours? Uh, we are on during the 16th uh, of April, running till the 11th of May. Um, so come on down. Um, you get to see us. Uh, yeah. Maybe not him because you know he's not the best. No, actually, he's alright. He's, he's great. He's great. He has a massive monologue. Um, which oh, I think you're should, holding you that. Listen, he's got a massive monologue. <laughs> <laughs> So you should definitely come down to at least see that because it's an amazing monologue and he does it really well. And just the cast is amazing, 22 people, vibrancy, amazing set, um, easy to get to. Um, what more can you ask for? If you want a good night out, come see Market Boy. Yeah. Yeah! Team Market Boy, let's do it! Yeah. Oi, oi. Yeah.